Hey everyone, it's Kim and I just had a really profound experience and I wanted to share this because it has so much to do with how the physical body can heal and how we get resourced um, when we open up and release whatever we're holding mentally, emotionally um, to make space for something more. It's kind of like a vacuum. Um, so the first thing um, I wanted to share was a few nights ago I was doing this kind of inner work I, I do a lot of dance and movement and let it bring up stuff that's coming up in the body and through this work that I've been doing in this particular women's group um, a lot came up and it was really 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 hard the kids had gone to bed I spent some time by myself my husband was away so I had like this little nugget of time and uh, could just really go deep with myself um, but it was crazy what came up just out of nowhere. This thing that happened when I was 12 years old and this relationship with a really good friend at that age um, and this betrayal and kind of heartbreak over what happened between us. It was a girlfriend um, and this trauma that happened with my dad. So I had, my dad was, you know, there was a lot of anger and physical abuse and this particular, um, you know, time with him brought up a lot of shame because um, of what happened with this friend. And anyway, the whole thing was all mixed in, but I, it brought me to this really, really deep place where I'm like, I don't even want to go there. This is so painful. And there was so much shame and like feeling ashamed and just layers and layers. And um, I went there, <laughs> but it was, I remember feeling like, oh my God, this, I just want to die. This is so um, deep and so painful and this uh, it's not that I'd never revisited this incident but to this depth uh, uh and I found this part of me that was like oh I'm just so embarrassed I just want to die and I hadn't really seen that before so it was really 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 hard to kind of go there and like breathe through it dance through it move this old trauma the next deeper layer of it and let it go and I did and it was amazing you know just using breath work and some of the tools that I share and just movement and dance and finding my power um, so that all happened and it was this really really profound release and, and reclamation of this part of myself who wished you know I just wish she could die she was dying of embarrassment and just literally wish she could die um, to have this friend like know this thing that happened with my father and you know, it was really intimate So anyway that released and And I and I was aware that that was a pretty big deal But it was um, it's now a few days later I just went to see my osteopathic doctor who does like a lot of cranial osteopathy and, and he's treated me several times um, and over the last 20 years, I've been dealing with this like left-sided head tension migraine headaches neck pain um, to various degrees and the reason I want to share this video is because when we go there for ourselves emotionally and allow an emotional release, like really being willing to meet the, 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 the shame, the fear, whatever it is, and, and breathe through it, or you know, if you've done any of the work I've shared with Instant Elevation um, Program or the Mind Body Solution for Pain Release, it's all really beautifully laid out in there. Um, the resources show up to allow a completion physically. So it wasn't like I had a lot of brain fog, but you know, hearing problems, um, sometimes brain fog, and then the physical pain. But I've, for 20 years, I mean, I've been treated by osteopaths, chiropractors, like, like everybody you can name under the sun. And literally today, he was able to like release these really old adhesions of the dura on my brain, and the, which is part of like the lining of the brain. So it wasn't like a lot of fluid flow. Now it wasn't lost on me that this is like such a synchronicity that I've like released that another layer of that trauma because it's in layers. Like it's not like I've never visited that before or visited the trauma with my father or you know allowed a release there. I have a hundred percent. But as we expand more, we go deeper into those very same traumas. It may feel like wait, I've done this before. I'm already done with that. But there's more layers. There's more for you to receive. There's more for you to expand into. So the same exact thing might come up again and again and again. Um, but yeah, so after that, this was the day where he's like, whoa, there are all these adhesions here. Let's release this. Let's release this. Let's release this. And found all these different areas where there was blockages physically. 
I was able to release that, which I could feel it. I mean, I had this headache. I don't have a headache. It's, it's massive for me because I'm realizing like how deep that physical energy was stuck. And, and like I said, I've been treated, but he's an amazing osteopath, but it's not just about, oh, I just need the right practitioner and then they're gonna do the thing for me. No, I had to be willing to go deeper into those spaces for myself and allow that energy to release so that the physical could happen. And yeah, well, maybe there'd be a practitioner or maybe something happens that assists that, um, or maybe there's just a release and nothing more is needed, e either way. But I will definitely say that no matter how many practitioners or um, you, know, you go to for work on your body or supplements you take or healing protocols you do or whatever, medications, surgery, the true healing has to, has to, has to happen at the energetic level along with that or, or before that to some degree. Or you could just hack away at that thing all day long. Do, you know, a Canada diet and your body keeps hanging on to Canada or whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to do. It can't physically release or resolve um, unless you've really released the core of what's creating that energy. Um, and I know there'll be questions coming out like, how do I get to the core? For me, it really is about spending time with myself to be more present to be willing to feel what I feel instead of always trying to make it go away or numb it, to be fully embodied in my body, which is really what the Instant Elevation program is about, or just the Instant Elevation tool. There's a free download on my website at drkimd.com down toward the bottom, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Um, the deeper we are willing to just be present to what's coming up, those layers will release just through your awareness, your willingness, um, easy fluid breath, being present to you instead of always chasing the chaos of your life and try to be present to everything else, um, or just the avoidance that we do. So, so, so much of what we do to try to heal is really about avoidance. So um, if you're wondering like, how do I know it's at the core, like invite your body to bring it up and be present and be willing and go there to the places you really don't want to go. Because um, the last point I wanted to make is it's really, as the deeper I've gone into my darkness, the dark spaces, the places that I'm like, oh, I really don't want to go there, it's where the most light can be received. And it was certainly true of this massive upheaval that happened for me the other night and how profound that was and how much strength and light and um, like certainty came in of, I know who I am. I totally know why this experience happened with that particular friend and who I'm here to be for her and who she was there to be for me and what it brought up for me um, and to meet myself more fully. And then, you know, it's like unlimited what, what can happen in our lives. So I wanted to share that with you. If you feel like, A, I've dealt with these layers before and why am I still dealing with them? There's always space to keep going deeper and receive more. Um, and B, um, if you're trying to hack away all the physical stuff, like, and, and I'm a physician, I know how important it is. You know, that's why I did emergency medicine as my specialty. If, if your arm falls off, hey, let's deal with the physical. We'll get your arm back on. But the, the, for chronic illness, illness is an illness that's not resolving no matter what you do. It is never, I've never seen it be the case that it's, it's purely a physical thing that needs to be addressed. It's always, always, always that there's a, a primarily emotional component of uh, what's actually going on for you to meet, to go there for yourself, to be willing to be present to what you're actually feeling. And if, if you really kind of lost on that, there's a lot of tools I have online, drkimd.com or on my YouTube channel. But if you're really like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of going solo here navigating this, Seek the assistance of a great practitioner. Just, just ask within your wisdom, who would be an awesome person for, to assist me with this? I do see people privately. I see people all over the world on um, videos, Skype, or, or we do on Zoom, and, and it's incredible what can happen through one session. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Um, but maybe there's you know, someone you've been working with before or someone you know, or like be willing to receive whatever resources will really um, support you the most be willing to receive all of it in grace and ease but it's you who have to be willing to go there for yourself no one can do it for you everyone you can get assistance or support but it has to be like yeah I'm willing to actually go there because I would have told you what I faced the other night in that level of darkness that I just really didn't want to go and open into 
It's almost like there's a part of me that would have done anything to just make it go away and I don't have to go there. But that isn't actually gonna open me to my divinity. It's not, it's like I've gotta be willing, but if I can receive what I need to go there, then I always, it's, it's always okay. I have what I need. It might be challenging, it might not be comfortable, but I always have what I need when I welcome that in. I do wanna also mention the Embracing Health program. We are launching that. That's gonna be a year long integration that I will bring you through using um, call integration calls, group calls that I've done in the past. They are recorded, so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do it in your own time. It's not nearly as much of an investment as working with me privately, but it will bring you through the same content of the work for this personal integration to do this emotional release to look at what's really going on within your body, to have that inner connection so that there's awareness, so the lights can come on and you can allow that resolution. And then always, 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 the physical will follow. Physical release and health, release of pain, release of illness and disease, whether it's a chronic infection or um, chronic fatigue or thyroid disease, autoimmune. I've seen all of this resolve really beautifully with this work. Um, so that is on offer. It's at drkimd.com forward slash health. Um, but for any of you, just keep tuning in. I'll keep making videos. We're live every week on Wednesday at 11 a.m. from Mind Body TV. So I'd love to have you join me there as well. And I promise I will keep it coming and allow more and more sharing of what my process is because there have been really amazing things being, being created as I continue to open to life. So lots and lots of love to you for your own personal expansion and I'll see you soon.